Let us now talk about the next phytohormone that is cytokinin. Cytokinins are the substances which are believed to enhance the process of cytokinesis that is cytoplasmic division during cell division. The discovery of cytokinin started with the observation which was made by Skoog and Miller. Skoog and Miller observed that cells of internodal region, internodal region of the stem of tobacco plant of stem of tobacco plant they showed proliferation that means they divided they showed proliferation only if auxins were accompanied with some other substances that means when something else was added with auxin then only this proliferation or cell division was seen in the cells of the stem. What were those substances? Those substances were the extract of vascular tissue or coconut milk or yeast extract or DNA extract. That means whenever auxin and any one of these things were added together, these cells, they showed proliferation or cell division. That means in this or in these substances, there is something which with auxins helps in cell division. Later on, this substance was found out as kinetin. So, Skoog and Miller then discovered this substance and isolated it. They isolated it from herring sperm DNA and they called this substance kinetin and called it kinetin. Kinetin because it was helping in uh, cell division. The scientists later on named these substances as, as cytokinins. Kinetin was again for cell division but they said it is mainly helping in cytoplasmic division. So now they know it as or we know it this group as cytokinins. This kinetin was chemically found out as 6 furfuryl amino purin. And we know that these kinetins are purin derivatives. They are purin derivatives. That means they are derived from the purin nitrogen base adenine. Especially adenine is the purin base from where these kinetins are isolated. Now one important thing is that they were work or they were able to bring about this change when they are present with auxins. And later on it was found out that these cytokinins they do not work alone. They work with some other phytohormones. So cytokinins work with some other phytohormone. They do not work alone. They always work with some other phytohormone. In this case, this was auxin. So the observation that the proliferation of cells took place when any of these things were added with auxin. 
and then it was found out that these substances they present some chemical which promotes cell division. So Skoog and Miller named it kinetin. They isolated it from herring sperm DNA and the chemical nature was uh, a nitrogen base that is a purine derivative and it was 6 purpurine amino purine. These cytokinins with oxen in different proportion show different results. That means when oxygen and cytokinin concentration is same, this promotes simple cell division without differentiation. Without differentiation. And that is why this combination is used whenever we want callus during tissue culture where only cell division has to take place in the nutritive media. Oxygen and cytokinins are added in equal concentration. If we change this proportion and if we make oxygen more than cytokinins, this promotes root formation and if we reverse that means cytokinins are more than auxins then this promotes shoot formation that means auxins or cytokinins more not equal they would help in differentiation when auxin and cytokinin are in same concentration it just helps in cell division but if concentration of any one is more than the other then either root or shoot formation would take place so this would help in differentiation and both these things help in tissue culture so initially we take auxins and cytokinins same callus formation takes place and then this callus is placed on different mediums having these different concentrations so that roots and shoot tips are formed and then the plant can be transferred in the open field. So this is the basic information about cytokinins. Now let us talk about the functions of these cytokinins. Let us now talk about the functions of cytokinins. The first function and uh, from the basic uh, thing which we found out about cytokinin was cell division. So it helps or promotes cell division. And that is why with auxins they are able to bring about proliferation of cells. They also promote cell enlargement. differentiation and cell differentiation that means the cells are going to get specialized to perform a specific function next important role which cytokinins play is in formation of adventitious roots so they also promote adventitious root formation and adventitious roots are the ones which originate from any part of the plant except radical. They also help as they are helping in uh, cell enlargement they also help in leaf formation and enlargement. So leaf formation and enlargement. One more important role which is done by or which is uh, performed by these cytokinins is in breaking the seed dormancy. So they break seed dormancy. We know dormancy is a period when seeds do not germinate even on providing all favorable conditions. There are many reasons uh, which are possible for seed dormancy. It could be slowed metabolism, it could be embryo not fully formed and so many other parameters. So cytokinin 
break seed dormancy by increasing the metabolic activities. So this metabolism which gets enhanced helps in breaking seed dormancy. Another important role which is performed by uh, cytokinins is they delay senescence. Senescence is aging in plants. So when we talk of aging in plants, the term used is senescence. The experiment which was done was the scientist took two leaves and these two leaves were taken from the same plant. One leaf was dipped in cytokinin. So it was dipped in cytokinin. And other was kept as simple leaf. And they found out that the leaf which was dipped in cytokinin stayed green for a longer period of time. That means the leaf remained younger for a longer period of time and that is delaying senescence. If a leaf stays green, that means it is younger. As it turns yellow, that means the aging process has begun. So in this case, when the leaf was dipped in cytokinin, it stayed young, green for a longer period of time. That means it was young. Its aging process was slowed down. This is what is meant by delay the senescence. And this effect, named after the scientist, is Richmond Lang effect. That is, cytokinin helps in delaying the senescence. One more function which has been reported of cytokinin is they promote flowering in some plants. Promote flowering in some plants. One more uh, role which is performed by them is in differentiation. It is related to differentiation. Cytokinins help in formation of interfascicular cambia. So help in formation of inter fascicular cambium. Interfascicular cambium is formed between the two intrafascicular cambium and this takes place during secondary growth. So we can say that they help in promoting secondary growth. This is seen in case of dicot stem where between the two vascular bundles which have their own cambium strips, the parenchymatous tissue gets differentiated into interfascicular cambia and then it produces secondary phloem on the outer side and secondary xylem on the inner side during secondary growth which takes place in dicot stems. So in this uh, differentiation also cytokinin plays a very important role. Road. So these are the important functions of cytokinin. So now next uh, phytohormone which we would be discussing is